five of my favorite acne products that are under $10. Acne is something that obviously I have struggled with my entire life and it's the reason this channel even exists. And when I was younger and struggling, I actually used to use acne clearing makeup because it had salicylic acid in the foundation. And my dumbass that didn't know better and was still learning would go to sleep with my makeup on because it had this acne fighting ingredient, wake up in the morning and just apply another layer. And so um, for that period of my life, it is no wonder that I was breaking out. Throughout my years of struggling with acne, which I'm still prone to, I realized that there are certain products that work better than others. And when I really started digging into medicine and cosmetic chemistry and understanding how ingredients work with the biology of our beauty, I realized that yes, there are medications that are FDA cleared and approved to help. And there are some that are just more well studied than others that do actually help that don't cost the price of a kidney. So for those who are struggling and want affordable options, I have some goodies for you. And let's actually start off with a wash. This is from Panoxyl. This is benzoyl peroxide and it's under $10. What's cool about this is that they have different strengths. They have a 5% and a 10%. Now, both of these are pretty hefty and benzoyl peroxide was something that even though I loved it and it did work, it could dry out my skin. And I remember vividly when I would go to bed, it would like stain my pajamas and my pillow. And I would wake up with like this ring of orange around my neck from where the benzoyl peroxide had stained. So remember, it does stain. But that is why I really like Panoxyl because it is a wash off treatment. It is a wash that you can use on the face and you could do it on the chest and the back as well. You do it in the shower and then you rinse it off so that unlike a benzoyl peroxide moisturizer or unlike Epiduo, it doesn't get itself wiped all over your pillowcase. You know what I mean? The whole thing about Panoxyl as well is that they formulated this to be more gentle on skin than traditional benzoyl peroxide. There's actually hydrating and some like relatively moisturizing ingredients in here. So even though it's still benzoyl peroxide and it works on acne by exfoliating the skin and killing bacteria, it is not as drying as some other products can be. So it's affordable, it's inexpensive, really good. I've been using this for years, I recommend it. And I use it on my back and my chest as well. And because benzoyl peroxide kills bacteria and bacteria is what causes sweat to actually smell. If you put this under your armpits, uh, you kill the bacteria, you stop the sweat from smelling. Again, just do it in a wash off form because if you applied benzoyl peroxide moisturizer as like a deodorant, uh, it would stain every single shirt that you own. Speaking of drying it out, there are some drying spot treatments that are relatively okay. This is one from Pacifica and this is under $10 as well. This is the dry it out acne gel spot treatment. It's a maximum strength 2% salicylic acid, but it also has niacinamide. This is actually a really good spot treatment that does work well. I want to warn you that it does have like lavender and menthol in here. Menthol has been proven to bind to specific receptors in the skin that can actually help alleviate pain. It's analgesic. So that is a really good thing, but again, that's not for everyone. Pacifica is a brand that I've loved for years. Some of their products are hit and miss, but I actually really like their Acne Warriors line. And we know that a lot of people on this channel are skin intellectuals. We like to learn about the science behind our beauty. We like to understand how cosmetic chemistry works and how these things interact with our skin. But there are a lot of people who sometimes filter by this channel or are seeing it for the first time, and they're still under this fallacy that natural is better or that Sephora's clean section is where all the good stuff is. Pacifica is one of those brands that I feel like bridges that gap. They kind of cater to the clean market, but they actually have products that I really like or that work. They're also cruelty free and vegan. They donate to clean water sources. And as long as you're okay with like some plant actives, a lot of the stuff in the line works really well. And this one specifically, it is a gel. It does dry out a pimple. I like it better than some of those traditional drying gels because it's less irritating. But salicylic acid is oil soluble. It goes into the pore, helps to clear out some of that oil, mildly exfoliate, and even be a little bit anti-inflammatory. So this is really great as an acne spot treatment. A little goes a long way and it's only $10. And yes, it fits in your pocket or in your purse or in your car's cup holder or in your refrigerator. I don't judge. Then we have one of my favorite spot treatments. So even though this one kind of dries things out, this is my favorite non-drying spot treatment. If you are looking for something that doesn't dry out the skin, that is fun to use, you can use it as a spot treatment or you can even wipe it all over. It has to be this. This is the succinic acid acne treatment from the Inky List. And this is a trifecta of three amazing ingredients, including two, salicylic acid and sulfur, which have been medically proven to help with acne. And I cannot tell you how much I love this. 
My favorite non-drying spot treatment used to be the Blemish Bully from Tarte, but they discontinued it, and it wasn't until this came out and I frickin' fell in love with it. It's this bright green color, but then when you blend it in, it goes in completely sheer. And again, that is a lot for me to apply. You definitely do not have to apply that much, but this is how I do it if I want to use it almost like as a serum. And again, it's under $10, it's like $8.99, so you can actually afford to do that. I will say if you use too much, if you go super heavy-handed, then it can ball up a little bit, so a little goes a long way but as a spot treatment or as in like all over serum, oh my god, I love it. It makes my face feel great and it makes my face look good too. Again, the salicylic acid in here is really oil soluble, helps to exfoliate and calm some inflammation. The sulfur in here can help dry up pimples and sulfur actually works for fungal infections as well. So if you do have malassezia or pterosperm folliculitis, which the internet likes to call fungal acne, but fun fact, fungal acne isn't actually a thing. But if you have that condition where you have these little same looking monomorphic bumps that are kind of itchy all over the face and even chest and back, the sulfur in here can help. This also has succinic acid, which is related to succinate, which is part of the TCA Krebs cycle. It's still being researched, but there's some promising evidence and some studies done on human skin showing that it helps with acne and people had less blemishes after they used succinic acid. So when that succinic acid is combined with all of this other stuff, it makes an amazing spot treatment that my face loves. And I'm not gonna lie, I like to put the green on my face and rub it in and feel like a magician. <laughs> then the gold standard in dermatology this is like the mother, like the queen of all skincare, Retin-A. Retin-A, retinoids, anything in this family is going to be wonderful for acne, but specifically prescription products, if you have insurance, you can get these for three to five dollars or maybe even free. Again, I do understand that that requires insurance, which is really, really frustrating. The medical system in America can vary greatly depending on where you live, what type of insurance you have, and whether or not you have insurance, but it's worth asking your care provider or your dermatologist about because if you can get this and if you can get it covered by insurance, it could cost you $5, $0 if you get the brand name. Sometimes they even give you coupons if you just email them and ask. But this is retinoic acid. It's naturally made by our skin and this right here, the prescription form, is the most bioavailable, meaning your skin just takes it and runs with it. It helps to renew your skin cells, it helps with active acne, it also helps with any scars, even with wrinkling and fine lines that can come from aging and graceful aging, might we say. You know, I think that laughing, spending time at the beach, wisdom, uh, all of that comes with lines and we shouldn't be so judgmental of ourselves for them. But basically this was prescribed for a bunch of acne patients and then people realized, hey, my wrinkles are kind of going away. So especially for adult acne, for teen acne, as long as you are responsible enough to wear a sunscreen every day, Retin-A and retinoic acid is an awesome choice for you. And remember, the oral form is actually Accutane or Isotretinoin, but again, you need to get that medically prescribed by a doctor and right now we're just working on topicals, meaning things that go on the skin. And then for seven sweet, sweet doll hairs, you must know what's coming next. I have an absolute love affair with this product, not only for what it does for my skin, but what it makes my skin look like. I apply this once or twice a week, even to my chest and my back, and I just have the funnest time doing it. This is a product that is unfortunately not available in Canada unless you win one of our weekly giveaways because I've been giving these away, but this is the Ordinary's AHA BHA Peeling Solution. This is a little mask that you apply directly on dry skin and it helps to exfoliate, it helps to renew, it helps to refresh, and yes, it helps with acne. AHAs are those alpha hydroxy acids and BHAs are those beta hydroxy acids and together this is an exfoliating chemical peel style mask that is phenomenal. It's not as potent as what you'll get if you come to the dermatology clinic or medical aesthetic office. That's going to be like a 30 to 70 percent peel, but if you can work yourself up to this, this is pretty much the highest potency that you can get over the counter here in America. I would highly recommend this. The red color comes from the Tasmanian pepperberry. I think that the brand says that that helps to like decrease irritation. And I will say I have very resilient skin, so I do not feel irritation when I use this, but this is a chemical peel. This is literally a peeling mask. So I do want you to patch test before you actually put it all over your face to make sure that you can handle it. And remember, you're probably going to want to use products like the Inculist Salicylic Acid Cleanser or some beta hydroxy acids and alpha hydroxy acids in like a toner or a serum so that you can work your way up to this because this is not for the faint of heart, but we've actually done an entire video on that if you want to see it here. But for $7, um, get in my f 
shopping cart. Thank you. For under $10, it's amazing that we have options that are medically proved to help with acne and that I've personally used and can attest to. And if there's something that I didn't mention that has worked for you or that you think is a great option that's affordable and inexpensive, please leave it in the comments so that we can all learn about them and be skin intellectuals. Happy Acne Awareness Month. I love you and your beautiful face, and I want you to remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Your acne big sister loves you, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.